Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are a time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from this area and thank them for their service. Now tonight, we honor 99-year-old World War II veteran Don Nelson from Emporia, who served our country in the Navy for more than 20 years. In 1943, at the age of 18, Don Nelson enlisted in the Navy. It was a thing to do. At my age, I signed up for the Navy to get to schooling. And they sent me to Great Lakes. And then Great Lakes, they sent me to St. Ambrose College at Davenport. I was in classes most of the time. And then the rest of the time, you were in this group of about 400 seamen. And drilled every morning. Typical day was study, drill, study, drill, and exercise. Then sent to Hollywood, Florida for sea training. And I was the joke of the whole class being sent to Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> we learned a lot. We, well, they had a lot of boats for us. We trained evacuations and different things over the ocean every day and, and work. After his time in Florida, Don was sent to Japan to help salvage sunken ships. We had to clear the harbor in Japan and we'd take them old stuff that we'd sunk, picked them up, took them out to sea and dumped them and come back in and cleaned up. That's the only way we could clean up the harbor so we could use it. He was discharged and went back to college, graduating in 1949. He was recalled to the Navy in 1952 and sent back to Japan, where he served on the Jupiter supply ship. Then I picked up to Jupiter in Yokosuka, Japan. See, we were aviation supply ship, so we were primarily any part for an airplane we had. And then about once a month, we'd go over to Korea and just lay off and resupply the carriers. And a whole gob of Marine were on the beach over there flying, and we had the parts for their airplanes. You have to remember all this. I was just a young, young officer, and most of the officers had been through the, on the ship, the, the Jupiter, were old hands when I'd come aboard. He also served as the communications officer on that ship. So I was above decks most of the time. Then we'd go off the coast to supply, and we were, very frankly, scared to death, laying off there, hauling supplies into them poor guys. Looking back on his time in the Navy, Don says the best part of serving was? Being able to serve, yeah. I'm proud of my country. Wonderful. I don't know any place else in the world that has the opportunity for a guy that has a little bit of talent that wants to succeed. When Don returned to civilian life, he took a job at Standard Oil in Emporia. He later started the Red Line Trucking Company. Now, we highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Don. And if you have somebody that we could feature in this segment, just check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story is not the only way we honor these heroes, because each and every week, the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran who served our country in Korea, Commander Don Nelson. Commander, thank you for your thank service. You. Thank you, sir, for having me. It's an honor. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.